on the 19th anniversary of the September 11th terror attacks, Americans stop to remember. President Trump and Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden pressing pause on politics, paying tribute to those lost and passing their respects to the families. Get back to the campaign tomorrow. At Ground Zero, a Biden stopping to talk to a 90-year-old woman, the two comforting one another, each having suffered the loss of a son. Never goes away. President Trump in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where Flight 93 crashed, recalling how passengers banded together to fight the hijackers, foiling their planned destination, the White House or U.S. Capitol. The only thing that stood between the enemy and a deadly strike at the heart of American democracy was the courage and resolve of 40 men and women. Biden visiting Shanksville later in the day. Earlier in New York City, Joe Biden and Vice President Pence crossed paths at a memorial event, sharing an elbow bump, a show of unity. Democratic Vice Presidential nominee Kamala Harris recalling a 9-11 experience shared by many in this country. Our first reaction without pause was to hug and hold each other. Perfect strangers. Those days of togetherness 19 years ago, a stark contrast to a divided nation facing the tragedy of our times, the COVID pandemic. Yet still commemorating September 11th, 2001, a day Americans promised never to forget. Well, after today, it is back on the campaign trail for President Trump and Joe Biden. Both appear next Friday in the battleground state of Minnesota. In Washington, Susan McGinnis, NBC News.